Hi everyone. Greetings to all of our friends. It's the Jim and Dave beer, beer review. review. Dave, what's on tap for this beer review? We have Kensinger. Kensinger. Philadelphia Brewing Company's own. Philadelphia Brewing Company's the own. Crisp, light body, golden beer is the very definition of refreshment. Definition so of refreshment. One might think this goes to a Phillies or an Eagles game. Well, or maybe a Flyers game. If you like or that maybe, sort of thing. You know, they don't have a, but maybe they actually got rid of the uh, indoor lacrosse team, which sucks. The wings are gone. Really? Um, yeah, they, they left. They're gone. Yep. They oh. went up to New York somewhere. Well, anyway, F them then. Yeah, I used to love going to these games. Anyway, the combination of premium German oh. Pilsner malts and American Noble hops aims to please your taste buds and satisfy your thirst. Get some. So this sounds like it's a middle of the road kind of. It's a, an ABV is four point five, which is very low on the scale actually. That's oh. like one of the lowest ones you can get. So this is like your average sort of beer beer. This is the kind of beer you go to a game and you, you know. Uh, there we go. Got it off. Yeah. All right, that's all right. Let me pour it a little bit here. And let's see. Where's your glass? Your glass is. Oh, it's all the way over here. I'll yeah. get it. Glug 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 glug. There you Oop. go. Oh, I think I gave myself a little more than you. I'm sorry, buddy. That's okay. That's all right. I can drink more beer later. I was, I wasn't doing my counting. I, I'm, 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 I'm what? This is our sixth beer review. Uh, beer it's, yeah, but that's why it means it's half. And, and these beers aren't imperials or high um, alcohol content. So we're, it's we're like, trying to drink responsibly. So we're only having one beer for two people for one. That's review. a smarter thing to do, people. It actually. is. Why drink a whole beer when you can drink half a beer and enjoy the regular beers later? Well, this color is uh, somewhat goldenish. Um, no, you know, it's a it's a little bit cloudy, so it leads me to believe it is not one hundred percent filtered. Um, it smells like a real beer, like a beer. You would this get. is a beer beer and smell. This is like kind of beer you go up to the concession stand and go, hey, give me a beer. Give me a beer, two hot dogs, and a soft pretzel. Yep, and they give you the beer, and they give you the beer. This would be that beer. This is. Uh, it's not an IPA, it's not a stout, it's no, not it's ale, this is just a regular, it's a, it's a Pilsner, it's yeah. straight up. I mean, Any thoughts on the scent? It smells like a beer. Yeah, no, no nothing. Actually, like a regular right, beer, beer. That. Sorry. Um, no. Okay, well, the color, like, any thoughts on the color? Uh, it's very light in color, it doesn't have a lot of head to it. All right, well, let's just jump right into it. Yeah. We're, uh, we've been trying to uh, steer up our beer reviews lately because we have a... Proust and cheers. Wow, we're pretty second. good on that one. Here we go. Oh, man. That's disappointing. Mm -hmm. He told you this is the worst one of them all. He did. Oh, man. I'll drink it, but only because... Um, yep, I'm giving it a five. I may have Nothing more than a five. Mm. I had a whole beer last night, so it'd be, it'd be, it'd be wrong to say that I would not drink this whole beer. All right, well, we're you're I still rating have like it. like four of them at home. All right, you're rating it, but tell people why. Why? Because this is the flatness, kind of sourness, kind of cheapness to it. Mm. I mean, the, the, even the label is like, it's red and yellow. <laughs> yeah, it's a boring label. It's a boring beer. Um, boring. I wouldn't say it's flat necessarily. The mouthfeel, it's got a little bit of carbonation to it. The, yeah, just crap. like Schlitz would have or something. Perhaps the taste is a little flat. Um, yeah, but the aftertaste is what bothers me the most. Yeah. Um, it's... Um, well, definitely Brewing Company. I'm very disappointed in your beers. Yeah. It, I said this for another one of their beers. It kind of has this chalky kind of um, finish to it. That was that, a Walt Witt. Yeah. Um, I honestly... There's a river that goes through um, this area. It's called the Schuylkill, Schuylkill River. Yeah, and they dump, uh, I, been dumped there around there. I, I, I really hope they're not getting their water out of that river because, quite frankly, yes, because um, you know what, it runs through freaking uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, uh, well, let's just say this right? was the most industrialized portion there of the country back in the day. It's a nuclear power plant that runs through the Schuylkill. <laughs> yeah, well, there's that, but uh, yeah, this, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not digging it. Uh, I don't, I would not buy this beer. Mm. Mm. I would never buy this beer again. Yeah, um, really bad. Uh, Dave, what was your number? Five. I thought you gave it a five. Um, let me see. Five is it. Only because I said anything over five or five, I will drink. Anything under five, I will not drink. And I already had one of these last night. I drank the whole thing, so I well, give it a five. you know, you can be honest. If you don't want to drink it, a five. 
No, uh, I'll drink I, it. I have to give this a, um, uh, this is the first time we're disagreeing tonight, a 4.5. Um, I really, yeah, please. You, you, Bye, I drink the rest. I'll drink you can have the rest of I'll this. I'm not digging it. Um, it's fine. Yeah. I would not buy this. I would not recommend it. I would not buy it either. below average. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, because you want to have pride in the state you live in, yes. I would want to like a beer from Philadelphia. Yeah. Uh, before Prohibition, Philadelphia had many different little small, what we would call today as microbreweries, yep. where maybe there would be a tavern and they would serve it in a place that they'd establish. I think there was over 200 in the city alone. Oh. Uh, but unfortunately, Prohibition... A lot of them shut down. It was unfortunate because not only did they lose the recipes, they lost their yeast strains because, you know, they have to be maintained. And it was a very sad thing. I'm sure this uh, that scenario was repeated throughout the country. Um, yeah, very disappointing. Um, Philadelphia Brewing Company, if you're watching this, and I may actually tweet this out and include your Twitter on this, uh, it's a little disappointing. I hope you have... Dave said you guys have a lot of different beers. I hope this variety pack... Was not the best of your best. I hope you have other ones that kind of live up. Um, they all seem very, would you say cheap? I would say cheap. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing wrong, but it seems to me that you're saving money. Cutting and, corners and, somehow. Yeah, cut, somehow, and not uh, not really enjoying this. So, very average. But listen, um, if you're going to drink, don't drive. Uh, Dave's not driving tonight. He's going to sleep for a couple hours before he leaves. You betcha. Um, pregnant women. You know, please, you have a baby inside, you don't have any alcohol whatsoever. No. What's the matter for you? And if you're under 21, you shouldn't be drinking at all. What's the matter for you? Yes. Unless you're in the military service, in which case we won't say anything. Go ahead, because will. you can die for country, you can drink for country. And, hey, if you're operating heavy machinery, this is the worst time, possibly other than driving, to be drinking. Yes. And the reason why we subject ourselves to these mediocre and lousy beers... You don't have to. Right. <laughs> and, um... And quite frankly, we are looking for good beers to tell you about because we believe it's important that you drink great beers. And have a good laugh or two. With your friends. Yes. Thank you very much. This is Jim and Dave, Beer Review. Please subscribe to our channel. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Comment subscribe. below. Yes. We'd love to hear from you. Follow me at J-I-M-M-R-E-T. That's my Twitter address. And K-U-L-L-31. That's his Twitter address. Yes. If there's a beer you want us to try, let us know. We appreciate it. Yes. And, of course, it's on YouTube. You can just tell us in the comments. We love yes. you guys. Thank you. Bye, Dave. Hey, under eight minutes. Dave. That's a good one. Yes. See ya. That's what they should be like, actually.